welcome, welcome. Swipe right, swipe left. If you're just joining us, hi. Bless you. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Bless you guys. Bless you. Don't forget to send the love. God bless you. Bless God you. Bless, bless you. everyone. Bless you. Swipe right, swipe left. We're going to make it quick because um, we've got a couple of periscopes that are coming in after us. So we're going to uh, come on and talk about something tonight. I think that's going to tie into what we uh, had been speaking about, the double-mindedness and so forth. All right. God bless you God all. bless everyone. Bless you. Bless, bless you. you. Bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, Prophet Dave. Bless you. Is that one, uh, Lewis? Is that you? I think it's you. I don't have my glasses. See for me. You got to see for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Bless you, man. God, God bless everyone. Bless you. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Apostle. Apostle Collins, Lady Collins, uh, Pastor Collins, Pastor. Bless you all for coming in. God bless you. God if it's your first everyone. time, let us know when you're where you're joining for him from. Yes. All right. Uh, bless you. Oh, yeah, the word you. went forth. I, I, I heard it got cut off because the battery was very low. Uh, not the battery. Yeah, the battery was low. So we thank God you got a little bit of it. God bless you from Georgia. God bless you, St. Louis, Louis, Massachusetts. Massachusetts Georgia. Amen. Bless Georgia you. back in the house. North Carolina, no. Mobile, Amen. Washington. Washington. God bless you. God New York is in the house. God bless you all. God bless you. Australia, Tennessee, Louisiana. Australia. Wow. PA is in the house. Philadelphia, Mississippi. Uh, Miami. South Bend. Great, 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 great. Yes, come on in. Invite, invite, invite. Hmm. Yeah, let's see if we can get the numbers up tonight. Uh, we only got 30 minutes to do it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go in. Bless you from Syracuse. Cuse. God bless you, men of God. Uh, St. Petersburg, Florida, bless you. Bless Lane, you, bless you. Texas. Yep. Thank you all so much. I love you guys. You guys rock. You guys are the best followers ever, 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 ever. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, jump right in on it. Um, Tuscaloosa, bless you. Valley Kingdom, God bless you. God oh, bless Valley you. Kingdom, God bless you, Pastor uh, H. Daniel. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Prophet is cold. Hey. <laughs> West Palm Beach, bless you. Um, Ashley, bless you. Bless you. My phone's going off. Let me turn them on. Vibrate. <laughs> Minnesota, God bless you. I pray that you all have a heart. Uh, I had a wonderful service on today. Uh, God bless you, Sheena. Now I know who TMG is. <laughs> <laughs> bless you. We had an awesome service on God today. Bless you. Yes, we um, did. An awesome, awesome yes, service. Did. All right. Um, uh, give me some love. I want to see those hearts. And thank you. I have reached a million. <laughs> so I'm blessed by the fact of that. Um, uh, with that. So, uh, New, Mexico, New Mexico, God bless you. God bless you. Reverend Ron. <laughs> God bless you, Reverend Ron. Las Vegas is in the house. God bless you. God bless you, bless you, bless you. So, we're going to uh, jump in, and yes. um, um, I thank you guys for uh, joining us. My daughter, Kia, bless you. God bless you. Um, um, I, I want to thank you all so much for the support as well. Uh, a lot of feedback from the periscopes that we did um, when I was in Pittsburgh. Um, uh, it was, I mean, a tremendous, tremendous, um, tremendous time in the Lord in yes. Pittsburgh. So I want to send, a, as they say, the the world say, I want to send a shout out <laughs> <laughs> to um, Pastor Sharon and, and and Pastor Jay Robinson in, um, in uh, um, uh, Pittsburgh. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you all so much for the hospitality and uh, the, the, the mass service. It was unbelievable. So we blessed you all. <laughs> all right. All right. So, um, yes, y'all hit those hearts. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, my daughter, Tashina. <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about an impotent church, an impotent church, mm -hmm. an impotent church. Okay. So we don't just take titles just to be taking them. Uh, we've been talking about double mindedness. Yeah. Uh, we've been talk. Uh, we, we had a call for the intercessors to come forward uh, on the last periscope. And I know, you know, we need to get better in a sense of um, making sure that we're on it, but it's just, you know, with the schedules and everything, yes. uh, I, um, crossed up, but an impotent church. So the definition for impotency is the inability to bring forth. All right. Uh, the inability to re reproduce. reproduce. All right. And yeah. the church, we feel, um, very much so as in a state of impotency where it's not producing very many sons, very many um, kingdomizers, as uh, Apostle Patrick Isaac uh, gave us the terminology for kingdomizers. We're not producing enough. Yeah. And 
Um, going back to being an impotent church, um, I really want to delve off into this teaching really, really quick, just to even um, um, saturate the the waves, if you would, airwaves with getting people out of the state of stagnancy, mm-hmm. getting getting people out of the state of complacency, yes. um, so that we can get in a place where we're able to uh, start producing again. Amen. All right. So um, I want to go into Leviticus, the twenty first chapter, the twenty first chapter, Leviticus twenty one. All right. And again, this is going to be the quickest Bible study I think we all went through in a long time. Mm -hmm. An impotent church, an impotent church. Um, The Holy Spirit is grieved because we're not producing at the level that we need to be producing and not producing church goers. Yes. We're not in it to produce church goers. We're not in it to produce people uh, to, to continue the same religious things, but we're in it. We're supposed to be in it as leaders, as fathers. And if you uh, remember the Periscope a few months back concerning uh, being able to have uh, um, we need real true fathers in the body of Christ that will birth out true sons. Come on. And so if the fathers don't know the identity of sons, we can't reproduce nothing. All right. And so coming to the place where we are now, as far as looking at the reproduction of the church, there is not mm-hmm. enough, enough reproduction going on. Yes. All right. We have one man that knows his gift, but the rest of the membership is dying. Yes. All right. That is not God. In Genesis, he tells us to do what? Be fruitful and multiply. multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. It is not what your mama told you a long time ago to have a lot of babies. (laughs) It is not it. Amen. It is supposed to be, amen, for us to be fruitful and multiply. That is, amen, subduing the earth, having dominion and the earth and reproducing ourselves. All right. Prophets should be reproducing other prophets. Teachers should be reproducing other teachers and so on and so forth. Pastor, you want to jump in? Yeah. You know, Bay, I think you said uh, quite a few things, actually, um, mm-hmm. you know, but just just looking at things, um, you know, from from our experience, uh-huh. um, I, for one, can definitely can see where, you know, where the body of Christ, with, as far as the church is concerned, mm-hmm. has really lost the focus of God mm-hmm. on what, what God God's mandate was, mm-hmm. um, you know, when when he set forth uh, the church mm-hmm. and, and we've lost focus and mm-hmm. the in the the emphasis uh, for so many churches now is is pretty much just building up a building right you know whereas right. but in, inside that building you have a lot of individuals right. um that that are struggling because right. they they're, they're not reaching their potential right. and and they feel like okay I'm coming to church mm-hmm. um, but I'm not being fulfilled uh-huh. and because many of them have been in that same place for so long right. they they've just become resigned to their fate right. and the reason why I can say that because I've been there mm-hmm. you know I've been sitting in a place in a pulpit for for 20 years and and knowing that there has to be something more than this, mm-hmm. but but resign to your fate, you know, because you've been there so long, you become comfortable. Yes. Uh, yeah. And and you you know you, you know then there's that that sense of loyalty. Yes. And all of that that comes with it. Your mm-hmm. mother's there, you know, yes. you grew up there, mm-hmm. but you're dying. Yes. And and this is where the body of Christ is when it comes down to most churches. Yes. Um. They they there there's there's no life. There's yes. no no power. Yes. You know you get a shout in. And 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 you you leave, right? But no no change, no transformation, no right. deliverance, and and definitely no multiplication, right? And definitely not no multiplication. But I think let's go back to the original mandate of mm-hmm. why God created us, yes. and this is something that we've been dealing with in our ministry. We took it all the way back. Yeah. You know, I, I believe that the the church has gotten in the problem that we're casting out the same devils from the same people. Yes. We yes. prophesy to the same people every week. We have to encourage you every other hour to stay on the wall. We've got to keep doing this, and Come God on. is not pleased with the re, with the with the repetitiveness uh, of, of the work that we're doing because it's nothing being done in the kingdom. Come on. And we've lost our focus in the sense of Genesis. When, when, when God created us, he said, I created you that you may have dominion and the earth. Yes. All right. When we supposed to have dominion in the earth, he said, I didn't create you for religious activities. Yes. I didn't create you for fish fries. I didn't create you for musicals Come or on, all of that stuff. He said, I created you to have dominion and the earth. Yes. And so when we.